Hi, my name is Dr. Alan Mishra, and today we're going to be talking about meniscus tears. And the meniscus is a cushioning cartilage that occurs inside your knee between the femur bone and the tibia bone. It's a little rubbery substance that helps cushion your knee. There are two types of cartilage in your knee. One is the surface or articular cartilage, and the other is the meniscus cartilage. Meniscus injuries usually occur with some sort of twisting injury to your knee, typically with like basketball, soccer, or skiing. If you do tear your cartilage in your knee, what you may feel initially is a little swelling in your knee. You might also feel a pop at the time of the injury. Uh, that's one way to, to injure it. The other way to injure it is with a, a degeneration of that, which occurs over a long period of time. You play tennis for a long time, or you're, you're uh, swimming and you do breaststroke, and you can have some chronic pain that can result in a tear. Either way, if you have persistent pain, especially on the inside or outside part of your knee, you should seek attention. I recommend you see an orthopedic surgeon to evaluate you, and he or she will look at your knee, see how swollen it is, and determine whether or not you need further studies based on the physical exam. If you have catching or locking of your knee, it becomes more important to do something sooner than later. Most injuries to the meniscus, especially in younger people, require surgery. And if you do end up with surgery, it's almost always arthroscopic, which means small incisions and instruments about the size of my pen. Almost always also that's outpatient. The recovery from that type of surgery depends on what you do. You can either resect it, which means to partially remove it if it's very badly torn, or you can try to repair it with suture or other type of devices to restore the full integrity, integrity of the meniscus. Afterwards, the, t the time it takes for recovery depends a little bit upon what was done at the time of the surgery. If it's a removal or a resection, you're back to doing most activities within a couple months. If you repair it, it's anywhere between four and six months afterwards that you get full release to activities as tolerated. Prevention of meniscus injuries is important, and you can, you can help avoid not just meniscus injuries, but other injuries by maintaining strength, balance, and coordination of your knee through a specific exercise program, which we'll talk about in another video. So thank you for listening. Any further questions or uh, concerns can best be at, answered by looking at our website. That's emedx.com, which you'll see at the end of this tape.